Al Pacino really should do an anti-smoking commercial where you take audio of him through the years because that guy smokes. He's like a little taller than a handbag, but let me tell you something. He still smokes away. Al Pacino, and and I know you got to be sort of an old fart to kind of understand this. I know, Dom, throughout the every decade, Al Pacino's voice gets a little deeper. You know what I mean? And it's because of the cigarettes. You know, like in the early days in The Godfather 2, he talks like this. That's not my family, Kay. That's, that's not me, Kay. It's my family. This is my brother, Fredo. You're not going to take my kids, Kay. You know, and that, that's how we, 10 years later, see you, love. This is Al Pacino. You know, <laughs> son of a woman. Hoorah. He's in this new uh, Scorsese flicks coming, flick coming out on Netflix. And I wonder, like, if only dogs can hear his voice. Can you even hear his voice at this point? Yeah, baby. Yeah, you know, I mean, he just he, he doesn't even make sense half the time either. You ever notice that too? With that, but the, the older he gets, the lower his voice gets, and the less sense he makes. Ha, huh. Don Morgan, how you doing? Oh yeah, yeah. Al Pacino, gonna kick your ass. <laughs> I'm gonna kick your ass. <laughs> Don't lose friend. Interesting stuff. Here's <laughs> but he's one of those guys. Al Pacino actually is a really cool dude, but he's like a really old cool dude now. So he's like, oh yeah, yeah. Here we go. Uh, you, you threatening me in his voice was the best thing I've heard in a long Who time. Who do we have on line one? Chacho, <laughs> you're on the radio. Oh yeah. What's going on? How you doing? You mean Chiraco? Chiraco, Chaco, you know, hey. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Forget about it. <laughs> Chris Como. <laughs> Sit down, butt face. My, uh, my compliments to KTSA management. They did the right move. Put you in the morning, boy. You start cracking me up and makes it quicker thank you thank you what do you what did you actually call about man what do you want to talk about well i was uh, just wondering if uh what castro's doing is borderline illegal and i'm surprised the da hasn't gotten involved because as far as i know when i go vote there's little curtains around me and little walls that way you don't know the guy right. in the next booth uh who they voted for and here this guy castro because uh, he's in the inner circle he makes it all public and then he says, oh, it's public information. Well, I don't think so. The only way it is public information is if your neighbor takes a, uh, you know, vote for so-and-so sign and sticks it in their yard. And that's, that, to me, is legal. But what I think this guy did, somebody ought to investigate and see if he crossed any illegal lines, man. Well, he didn't. He did. I can tell you he didn't. Be, the, he he uh, didn't, but he... he take you, down the he, curtains and take down the walls, you know? You might as well go ahead and take that away. He, he may... Got to run, man. Uh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> He's got to go jogging real quick. Uh, well, fair point, but I mean, you know... It, it, it's it's cheap is what it is. Ill- illegal, no, maybe you could argue libel because he's saying everybody that works for he's for uh, Bill Miller's or, you know, at the Pearl or whatever is a racist and are supporting a racist president. But it, it's it, 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 legal or no, it's cheap. It's a desperate act. This is what you do when you're creeping up on Iowa and you're still only at 1%. And nobody cares about you. And nobody cares about your brother because he hasn't done a damn thing since he's been in Congress. You try to, and and it's, look, it's working for him. People are talking, I'm talking about him. And I find them extraordinarily boring. Here I am talking about him. But this stuff is not having the effect that I think they were going for, man. That's why they come out there, Don Morgan, with their... Their little political ads in their blue suits talking about assholes. Ha! 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 (laughs) (laughs) Al Pacino or James Brown? I haven't figured it out. (laughs) Al Pacino is a little of both. He's becoming James Brown the older he gets. Ha! I kiss myself! I'm uh, New Sark 550K. I'm sorry. It's Sean. I kiss! 
What's up? I, I, let me tell you something, man. <laughs> let me tell you something, man. I kiss myself. Hoyer. Hua. <laughs> it's the Al Pacino Show. News Talk 550 KTSA. Now on FM 1071.